How's it going YouTube? Heathens here. Um, wanted to uh, do a video about hazmat running. Um, whether or not it's something that you might want to consider um, with Prime. Is it worth getting your hazmat with Prime? Um, so my last load was a hazmat load. It was flammable gas uh, for Walmart and Basically, it was 2,400 pounds worth of lighters. Um, so anything over a thousand pounds has to be placard, which means you have to have your endorsement. Um, anything less than a hundred, uh, less than a thousand, you don't need your endorsement to run hazmat um, because it doesn't have to be placard. Um, but is it worth getting your endorsement to come to Prime with hazmat? And the answer is no. It is definitely not worth it at all. Um, I've been with Prime for a little over a year and I've only ran two hazmat loads. Um, both were Walmart. The first one was out of Ohio and the hazmat charge, I'm pretty sure it's only 72% of a charge too that comes to me, um, was only $25. This load, uh, the hazmat charge was $36 that came to me. Um, it literally cost me $86 for fingerprinting and then also $30 to add my endorsement when I didn't have it in Colorado. And the only reason why I got it was because my previous employer was going to want me to run hazmat and in the oil field. Well, fortunately that kind of fell through. I still ended up getting my hazmat. Was it for nothing? Maybe. Uh, who knows? Maybe down the road something might pop up. I don't know. Um, but whether you're looking at getting hazmat to come to Prime is definitely not worth it. Um, costs us a lot of money and there really isn't much of a benefit to have it. I mean, what? 36 and 25, that's a total of is that 50 66 dollars or something like that um yeah it, it, actually i think it's let's see, 36 56 who cares it's under a hundred dollars for two loves you know I'm horrible right now with math usually i'm pretty good but i this is the second time recording this video and for some reason the app wouldn't let me do it um but yeah um it's cool that you know that load was available for hazmat but i don't get enough to really sustain the reason to get hazmat so unless you're going and getting something down the road or plan to getting your hazmat really isn't worth coming to uh, deal with it because first you have to get fingerprinted then you have to take the test and then in order to get your hard copy with the endorsement you have to wait until your fingerprints come back that could take anywhere from two weeks to three months and yeah that kind of kind of sucks when you get your license and everything else and all of a sudden you have to wait on your fingerprints you can't even get your hard copy dmv won't send it out until the fingerprints are cleared um you'll get a letter in the mail saying that you're approved um so yeah it's definitely not worth it to have it to come to prime um that's probably part of the reason why it's not required because they don't have enough loads to really sustain it um and it sometimes it does suck running hazmat um the placards you get from the customers or the shippers receivers whatever um are really flimsy um so like for instance yesterday it was really wet out uh, i couldn't get the trailer dry enough to uh really put uh, my duct tape on to make sure it stays so basically what ended up happening is my passenger side uh placard got super wet and decided that uh it no longer wanted to be there so it flew out couldn't get duct tape on it so i had to take the chance and get out of the rain to be able to dry the trailer off good enough um but luckily i passed the scale house before it decided to go bye-bye um 
if it went bye bye before the scale, I probably would have been in some some trouble because I don't have any spares. Uh, there is no need to have spares because I hardly ever haul hazmat, and I I don't know what hazmat I'm hauling until I get there. Um, it could be flammable gas, it could be cylinder. Uh, my first load that was hazmat with Walmart was cylinder uh, helium. So, but yeah, so uh, yeah, that's it. Um, interesting story. Those placards also cost about $6 at a truck stop. Very expensive, but I like the ones at the truck stops because they're more sturdy and I was able to finally get the trailer dry enough to put my duct tape on to make sure it stays. But, all right. Um, I'm already at six minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Heathens was here, and I'm out.